Hi there guys and welcome to another Train Sim 2020 video. Today we are taking a look at uh, a little bit of a collaboration but mainly Zico Aziz has done a wonderful 508 reskin in, in uh, the Conic Southeastern livery. So <coughs> uh, I promised I'd show him this off on like last stream and didn't get a chance. Not they didn't get a chance, I wanted to show it off properly so I saved it for Wednesday but I said I would video it at the same time. There's also been some Chris Horsfield work in this, the scenario is actually Chris Horsfield and also Destinations and I think he has helped a little bit here and there with other bits and pieces. I'm sure other people have as well who I haven't mentioned so if I haven't mentioned you I do apologise but uh, thank you very much for your input uh, with this much needed reskin we did have one before and i think it was spooky westy don't quote me on that um or ews simulations whatever he, i think they were the same thing i'm not completely sure um but uh there was one before i've used it for but not as good as this one and not the right configuration i don't think peps always get a bit confusing for me i liked 313s um be sad to see them go well they're gone now aren't they really apart from the we had the i think the final run is next weekend i think like the the special run um but i they, they were they were due especially on the on the uh north city lines and everything they were showing their age they were left to rot unfortunately but there's still all three on threes kicking about on southern and 508s, 507s as well, so Mersey Rail in here sort of thing. So we're not pep-free yet. Pep-free. Sounds like a drink, doesn't it? Alright, let's get moving. This is an all-stops to Paddock Wood from Stroud, which I like to call Stroud. I know it's not Stroud. Um, but it's just came from a stream many, many moons ago where I got it wrong. And it's sort of stuck. It's sort of stuck. But this is an all-station stopper to Paddockwood. Should takes about 45 minutes. Total journey distance of 21.18 miles by the looks of it. So not huge. I'm already speeding. This was a great start, Alan. I'm also world-renowned. And I don't say that lightly. There are people from all over the world that have watched me station overrun with uh, 313, 315 on stream a million and one times. It doesn't literally, I've just got a shower, so I do apologise for my hair or anything. Um, nobody asked you, Siri. Um, <coughs> that happened in a stream once as well. Where was I? After rudely being interrupted by Apple's personal assistant Yes, station overruns everything. I'm pretty rubbish with the brakes on this. So I do apologise if we do get any. I'll do my best. I will do my best. I think at one time, Nathan Smith, who is the guy making the East Coast Mainline add-on route, uh, verbally banned me from driving the East Coast Mainline South with the 313 because I overran all the time. Is there a destination indicator light on this thing? I can never remember. Maybe as it's daytime, I don't think it's going to make much difference. When I get a bit of a gap station wise, we'll get out and have a good look at the livery. I haven't driven this bit of the route for a while.
guess I'm really am right to the end of this guy. Some nice little touches on this. And to be fair, there's bits that aren't perfect, but uh, it's a, a good attempt so far, and it's better than what we have. It looks like it's been washed a bit funny, which I suppose isn't far off with the Great Wrangler logo should be there as well. This is still work in progress, not released yet. So that Great Wrangler logo will be gone. I thought it already had gone actually. That might just be an issue with my install of it. I must say, this is a pretty route to be taking it down anyway. Swear, I don't think I've actually done a run. Maybe one run from this way. That weren't bad, that weren't bad. I came in a bit hot, but I'm happy with that. So also Cody Sale has done uh, a new AWS patch and compressor sound uh, for this. Unfortunately, I can't show it off in this video and I completely apologise to Cody for this. There's been a scenario made that I need the original AWS sounds for the 313 and I'm not going to have the time to reinstall it before I do it so I haven't been able to put it in for this video but I will cover it in another video I promise you Cody I do 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 promise
Snodland. I was like that name. Where do you live? Ah, oh, Snodland. It doesn't really sound real, does it? Good station though. Is this the one that has a pub somewhere? Somebody always told me that this, this, this station has a good pub near it or something. I was really, actually, for a, always liked this route from DTG. This little extension bit. I always thought they'd done a really good job on it. We just had a bit about it. It was well detailed. <laughs> Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Another eight stops. The other thing I liked was a lot of the markers on the Hudson. You had the horn markers, you had bridges, tunnels, everything was marked. Obviously, we've got like an overbridge coming up here. I always thought that was pretty good. Did I go into the step three there? That was silly of me.
I think, I remember Mole Man actually telling me, I think this was a cement place that's now completely gone. It's now houses or something. Caught me off guard, see, distracted by pinging phones. That's why you shouldn't have them in the cab, were you? I keep thinking the CSR works on this, but it's not because it's the 313 cab, not the 315 cab.
might actually get to 70 before we have to start braking. Oh, come on. Love that open hopper window there. Yes! Pulling up to station in out, like an outside view is not one of my specialties. I should really get better at it. Oh, I haven't got the anti-forklift noise installed. There is a patch. Shake Fuller's done a patch that gets rid of the forklift noise. Super irritating. We picked up a bit of speed there. <laughs> We're definitely, definitely a five car. That was a bit silly. I shouldn't have accelerated as hard as I did coming out of there at all. Always liked the Maidstone West signal box. The fact that it's a bit high, I mean, in real life, I probably wouldn't be that much of a fan of stone. Well, no, it's not too high. I don't know. Not a fan of heights, really. But it's a good view, isn't it?
Yeah, that's pretty cool. I quite like that. Easily pleased, see? Easily pleased. I keep looking over here for the camera, because the camera's moved, the camera's now there, so I can go, easily pleased. But it's not, it's because I now have a whole new mic and everything. Still getting to grips with it, so it's not used in this video or anything. And it's only a cheap one just to see if I prefer the sound from it or not. But the headset is dying. The mics gives back a lot of static and stuff in my headphones and cuts out every now and again. So once I've got used to the new mic, I set it up probably. I've got to sort out compression and everything on it and all that and noise gates and things I haven't had to mess about with for a long, long time. Let's take a platform at East Farley. We might go for a screeny here. Still to go, we have Watering Bree, another good name. Yelding, another good name. Beltring, another good name. And then Paddock Wood. <laughs> Beltring, Yelding, and Watering Bree. <laughs> I've got to look up the history of where these come from. Thought we we're gonna make it through before getting up to over forty there. Obviously not.
I was trying to alternate my horns and I didn't then. Muscle memory, I'm going to call it. My fingers on the pla uh, space bar on the B. Whoa! Rude boys jumping the lights, man. It's amazing how often that happens. Ooh. I spy a 56. Oh, and load hall as well. Nice. Oh, I forgot I wasn't doing like 70 mile an hour. This watery station is very nice on this route as well. I think I said when this came out, this is a route I needed to go down, and I still need to do it. Cool station building. Well, that looks boarded up in this. I wonder, I'm sure it probably is in real life. All these sort of little stations that are generally unstaffed are these days, aren't they? But right next to the, the water, funnily enough, uh, watering bree. Who'd have thunk it? Watering bree near the water. And the caravans and the canal boats. Two hundred and four yours power and something that size, jeez. That'd lick.
Yelding. Where does that come? I can hear that forklift again. Oh, it rats my brain. Oh no, it's excavator this time. Never quite sure what these bushes were about, if I'm honest. <laughs> Weird Christmas tree style bushes. And I get the big leaf things look like big dock leaves and that. Almost rhubarby. to find out what this ing history is with yelding and beltering. Yeldingas. And translates to the elding people. Okay. So beltering belong to the beltering people. Stop, I'll look up Beltring. It's in the civil parish of East Peckham. It's known for its annual war and peace show, which takes place at Hop Farm Country, Country Hall. It was Whitbread Breweries. It's now privately owned. N nothing else about Beltring. Literally. That is all Wikipedia has on it. Wrong button. Oh, there's actually a <coughs> altering railway station <coughs> set of pictures. Hmm. And there's a picture of the War and Peace show. Looks like quite a good crack, to be fair. Like these yellows. Mm -hmm. 
It wouldn't be a Chris scenario without some Chrisification, I suppose. So I'm guessing we're going to get held. So yeah, fingers crossed Zico gets this uh, reskin, the little bits tidied up and out ASAP. Because I know Chris would like, oh that's a red. Uh, I know Chris would want this scenario out as well. And I'm sure you guys would like a play of it. Oh, look at that. Yeah. A little bit of Sandite action going on there. That might be a screeny if ever I've seen one. About there. I like it. Kristen, tell me about this. Awesome. It's not what I was held, though. Oh, there might be some more little nice things to see up there in a second, though. There's definitely some stuff over here. Oh, is it an NSE and a Res 47 and C plus a 33? I suppose, yeah, Connex South Central days, just privatisation. Still would have been plenty about. Slammers. I enjoyed that. It's a nice run down the Medway Valley. And these are the backdated uh, train sim reskins, aren't they? Alright then guys, thank you ever so much for joining me through that, I really enjoyed it, I hope you guys get the pleasure of driving this and this scenario very very soon. So please remember to like, share and subscribe, heading over to alanthompsonsim.com for all the latest train sim, freeware, payware and subway stuff, heading over to Twitch on the Sunday and the Wednesday from uh, 7 o'clock. And also check out the Facebook group, link is in the description below. Once again guys, thanks ever so much. Catch you next time.